Now the data visualizer in Microsoft Visio 2016 helps us to easily create a flow chart from an Excel spreadsheet. Now you may be thinking, well, hang on a second, can't you do that already? Well, no, you can do that from an organizational chart and there's plenty of videos on this, but this is something new with a particular version of Visio. Now, before we start, I just want to just draw your attention to the particular version. So I'm just gonna swap back to the web here gone to the support page for the data visualizer here so just going to scroll down and just to highlight really um, one of those things just want to highlight here if I go to there we go so it says here the ability to use the data visualizer template is only available in the Visio online plan 2 on the current release channel with that bad so it's on the online plan too that you'll have to download to get this working. And I've noticed there's many people who've got the videos and probably by the time this comes out, many of them have probably already got videos out there. And I think this doesn't work. I can't get this work. So make sure you go and download the online plan too. You can do it for a month or you can do a free trial as well just to see if this is one of the features that you can take advantage of. So, so what you might have seen in Excel, so if I swap back to Excel, when you go to file and new, then you may see, I'll just move myself up out of the way here, um, this here, can you see, the data, this one here, this date little process map thing here, you see, it's got the little Excel spreadsheet for a flow chart, so you can see that there, so that's one of them, if you scroll down as well, let me just scroll down a little bit more, oops, there we go, um, uh, can't find that one in here. Let's just see if I can do cross functional flow chart. See if it'll find that. There we go. There's the process map for a cross functional flow chart. So you can have that one there as well. And then when you look in Visio, so if I swap back to Microsoft Visio and I go to File and New, here, okay, you can see the cross functional flow chart here. And if I just move myself down and out the way here, you can see the basic flow chart. So how does that work? Well, first of all, you can either use the, Vis the Excel template. So if you went there and clicked on the Excel template, it will create a nice little template for you to uh, work with. Alternatively, you can download this exercise file that I'll make available. So what's the things that we need? Well, this is the process step ID. So you can see the P100, P200, you can have whatever you want there. There's your process um, step description. So this is the start one. So this one is, I can just change that a little bit. So I'm gonna change that to alarm. So after that, this is an alarm here. I want the shape to be a start shape. So that little sausage looking shape. Okay, so then I'm going to move on to waking up. So that's on a P200 shape. So this links from this here to this here. So whatever you type in here, that's the next shape it's gonna link to. So it's gonna link to the wake up shape and there's the process shape there. And it goes so on and so on and so on. I've got the get washed here. So I'm just gonna change that to a process. I'm just gonna type that in. On the template, you get little drop down lists as well. I can uh, give you that little demonstration later on. Uh, notice the decision. So is it raining, basically? Uh, and with a little question mark. And notice under the next step, I've got P600, and if I zoom in here, so I've got P600 and P700. So they're the two possibilities of uh, process, what's in the next step in this process map or in this flow chart that I need to get to. So the connect and eight label, yes or no. So then yes, if it goes, you know, if it is raining, I'm going to go to P600, where I'm going to go back to bed here. Okay, let's just type that one. Back to bed. That's great. Or if it's not raining, I'm going to have to go off to work here. So then I'm going to uh, go to work and then end this process here. I don't want these to connect to anything. So let's just delete that here. So these should be the end of the processes. So I can have an owner of this here. So I can start to uh, um, put Fred in. So I can fill in these data as if I wanted to use that one as well. So that's great. I'm going to save that one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close down this Excel spreadsheet. So I'm back in Visio. So I'm going to click on the flow chart, uh, the basic flow chart data visualizer over here. 
Okay, so one of the clues if to watch out for if you aren't in the online plan two edition is this little thing just here. So where it says Excel data template, if it doesn't say that, then you're in the wrong version. You're going to have to change. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to click on that. I'm going to click on create. So it's going to create uh, and should open up this create diagram from data. So what diagram do I want to create? Well, I want to do a basic flow chart. Select an Excel spreadsheet. So let's click on browse. And then I'm going to find my desktop here. Where is it? There it is. And I've got a Visio folder somewhere along here. There we go. Another process map. That's what I've called here. That's great. So now it's going to get the tables from the workbook. So what that means is, is if you haven't seen, and I suggest that you look at the video on tables, if you want to refresh this workbook regularly, it's important that we create a table out of the data. So of that Excel spreadsheet. So as you can see, I've created that one earlier, TBL process chart. I'll go back and I'll show you at the end of this where I and how I created that table if you're unsure about that. OK, I can do a custom range, which is fine, but you really want to do a table if you want the spreadsheet to update. That's great. I'm going to click on next. So this next one here, I can start mapping up the columns here. So process step ID required. So I've got that there and then a the process step activity description. And then the shape is by the shape type. So that's good. It's all matching up as a tip. If you use the template that Microsoft provides you in Excel, it just makes things a lot easier. Then we just see if the processes work out. So start is start and end. Process is process. Decision is decision. It's nice, simple chart. So there we go there. That's fine. And if you need to match it up, say, for instance, I've gotten rid of it and it can't match it up, you can drag. You can see start, end to here. And then, OK, the start shape is going to be start, end. That's fine. Now, all the shapes match up. I'm going to click on next. So the next one is the mapping. How does it know what the next um uh, column is so it's connect using column that's what we're going to do and the column is the next step id so if you remember that was from our excel spreadsheet a delimiter is comma if there's a separator maybe if there's a decision shape to be made and the connector will be from the connector label so that's good so i'm going to click on finish watch it do its magic and there we go i've got a uh, right little chart here so uh, as you can see, I've got uh, yeah these decisions here don't look, seem to work so well. The raining and going back to bed. Uh, so I might need to change this a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and change the flowchart. Uh, just uh, in Excel, just if you click on the data tab at the top, I've got a refresh diagram button here. But before I do, let me just go and see if I can open up Excel on the computer. There we go. So there's my Excel. I'm just going to open up my recently used files. That's my other process map file here. So there we go. I've got yes, no. So this one's going here. So what I'm just going to do is work's going to be a process. So I'm going to change this one to a process. That's going to continue on. Um, that's good here. And then the next step ID is going to be, say, P800. And then get to work and then this one is I'm going to take drive to work so I could type this one in here and that's good so this one as ends this process here is there's none uh, this is uh, going to 700 here so the next stage in this is p800 and that's going to be a process as well that's good uh, I'm not going to bother with typing any owners or anything in there, uh, which is good. Uh, the back to bed, that's ending that process as well. So that's not a problem. So what I'm going to then do is just show you a bit about the tables. Notice if I click off of this and I click back on, this tab here appears at the top. It says table tools. It shows that that section that I've just selected is a table. So if I click on the table, click on design, go to the left, and you can see this is where I named the table TBL process Uh chart there that's good so that's a table there that's fine we're going to save the data let's see if it's updated the excel uh, the invisio 2016 data visualization so let's close that down it hasn't updated it immediately however if i go to the data tab here at the top and then click on refresh diagram it will wait for a year and a day and then it will update the diagram so there we go that's a little better so i can see here is it raining 
If I just you hold down control and shift, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. Yes, it is going back to bed. No drive to work. Now it's not perfect um, by any stretch, but hopefully it will speed up your flow charts and creating your flow chart, especially if you have the information in Excel. So please stay tuned as well. Uh, sounds so old fashioned, that doesn't it? But what we're going to do is later on, we're going to have a look at the cross functional flow chart and how you can use the uh, swim lanes um, and create a cross functional flow chart automatically from an Excel spreadsheet. Thank you so much for watching.